Jesus is the guy who could open that door. I'm not suggesting that you have to look at him like some giant bouncer um, out there who is going to harm you or physically harm you. But this, this Bible, this good book, tells us, tells all of us that he's the one that checks your ID and checks your heart and says, come on in or doesn't. He's the only means to get to the Father. And, and it's, it's by loving him and by trusting in him and by get, surrendering your will and your ego to him by saying you are the Lord of my life that's how he lets you in that door to the promised land and I want to say just one more thing because I'd never want these to get too long but people people pleasers even in ministry and church circles will try to develop this idea that there are multiple ways of getting to God it is a way of pleasing people instead of sticking to the word of what is preached in there there are not multiple methods there are not multiple systems. It's not to say that those people are any better or worse than I am. We are all sinners saved by grace, but we have to recognize, we have to recognize the need for grace that is in Jesus Christ, that he is the bouncer that says, I love you and you have accepted me, so I'm now gonna look at that ID with my little flashlight, I'm gonna let you in to this amazing place called heaven. God love you, amen, have a good night.